Hello my viewers, welcome back. This is JK and uh, uh, today I'm back with uh, another new video of animal vocabulary course. As you remember, we talked about 10 animals and about their male name, their female and their young. So I have come up with five more animals today and uh, these animals are the animals that usually mostly we use them for uh, transportation purposes. So the animals are donkey, mule, zebra, uh, camel and horse. Okay, so if you're ready, we will go with the names and with the details. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. The first animal is donkey. Donkey, which is also called ass. In English donkey or animal uh, we also call it moke moke in uh, British English moke means an ass or a donkey but in Australian English moke means an old broken horse so it, it is uh, not a common word in British English it's used for uh, ass or for a donkey but in Australian English moke means uh, an old horse. So the animal's name is donkey, ass, or moke. Uh, if a, a donkey or if a, a, an, a, an ass is a male, then we call it jackass. So jackass means a male ass or a male donkey. If it's a female one, then we call it genet. Genet. So Janet is uh, a specific and a uh, uh, proper a, a name for a donkey, a female donkey or a female ass. So Janet is a female ass. And then if a, uh, an ass is a young one, a small one, then we call it foal. Foal is a very common word for some of the animals young. So foal can also be used for a young ass. Okay, so the don the animal's name is donkey or ass. We also we can also call it moak in British English. If it's a male one, then it's jackass. If it's a female one, genet. And if it's a young one, then it's a foal. A foal can also be used as a uh, as a verb, which means given birth to a foal. Okay. The second animal is mule. Mule is also some kind of like donkey, but it's a little bit different from a donkey. It is like a mixture of donkey and a horse. So mule is the second animal. Uh, it's a wild animal, I think. Uh, I've uh, also seen uh, mule uh, as domestic animal, but usually it's a, <coughs> it's a, um, a wild animal. Now, if a mule is a male one, then it's jack, as here. We had jackass, you can call a male uh, mule a jack. But if it's a female one, then you can call it jenny. Jenny can also be used for some other animals, for example, for horse or any other four-legged animal. So, jenny means a female mule. And again, if it's a young one, then it is a foal. Don't say fool because fool means stupid. It's foal. So foal means a young mule and also a young donkey. Okay, then we have zebra. Zebra, which uh, is a little bit different. Uh, the pronunciation is a little bit different in British English and in American English. Uh, they call it zebra or zebra. So zebra is the third animal which is very similar to a horse but the only difference is that zebra is a uh, wild animal and it has black and white uh, lines all over its body so the only difference from a horse is that it is a colored uh, animal and it has black and white round uh, um, lines all over its body so zebra, if a zebra is a male one, then we call it stallion. Stallion, as I told you, it is, uh, stallion is also a common word for 
uh, some animals male. So stallion can also be a male zebra. If a zebra is a female one, then we call it mare. Mare. So mare means a female zebra. And again, if a zebra, if you want to talk about a zebra's uh, young, then you can say foal. So foal can be used for a zebra, for a mule, and for an ass or a donkey. Okay, the fourth animal that I'm going to talk about today is camel, which, which is pronounced like camel in British English, camel, but in American English, camel. So camel is the animal. It is uh, an animal uh, which usually uh, it's found uh, uh, in deserts. And uh, I think we got two kinds of uh, camels, which is uh, a Bactrian camel and also we have an Arabian camel. So camel is usually uh, found in Asia or in Central Asia. So camel is uh, the fourth animal. Uh, it's a big animal, bigger than a zebra, a mule and a donkey. Uh, and I think even than a horse. So camel is the animal's name. Now, if a camel is a male one, then you can call it a bull, bull camel. I told you, bull is also a common word for some uh, big or large animals, male, like uh, elephant, camel, cow, or cattle, okay? So, uh, bull means uh, a, a male camel. If a camel is a female one, then you can call it cow as you call a cattle, the cattle or the cow. So cow was also the animal's name and also the female animal's name. Here you can also use cow for a female camel. And if, uh, if a camel is a young one, then you can call it calf. As I told you in the previous lesson, the, the L is silent. We don't pronounce the L. It's pronounced like calf. In British English, it was pronounced like calf. So calf means a camel. A young camel is called calf. Also a young cow or cattle is called calf. Okay, so uh, reaching to the fifth animal, which is uh, a little bit uh, long, I think, this one, this animal, because we got many names. Be uh, it's because I think this is a very famous and uh, uh, a horse that everybody all over around the world, they uh, around the world, they know what a horse is, and the, these animals are also used uh, in sports. So that's why I think we got many names, different names for uh, for horse. So horse is the animal's name, as I told you. Horse is uh, an animal uh, which is smaller than a camel and bigger than a zebra or donkey or ass. So uh, horse is the animal's name. Now if a horse is a young, uh, a male one, then you can call it stallion. Stallion means, stallion means a male horse. Or you can also call it stad, stad. I think stad is used only for those animals that were kept for, uh, uh, for um, sport purposes. But you can also, uh, uh, it's also used, I think, for for um, breeding and all that stuff. Uh, I don't have uh, very much uh, information about horses or about animals. But all I know is that stallion or a stat can be a male horse. Now, if a, if a horse is a female one, then you can call it a dam, dam, or a mare. So both words are correct. You can also call uh, it a dam, a female horse, or you can call it a mare. Mare is also used for some other animals, female. So dam or mare means a female horse, okay? And now coming to the very, uh, very difficult and complicated part is, uh, part is that the horse is young. Now we got many words, we got many vocabularies for a horse's young. Now you can call a horse's young a foal. So a foal as we had for a donkey or ass, 
for a mule, for a zebra. You can also use foal for a horse's young. So if a, uh, a horse is young, you can call it foal. Foal. Okay? Or you, can, uh, or you can also call it a yearling. Yearling. Yearling is usually used for a horse, which is, uh, for example, a year old. As you can uh, see from the name, we have the word year at the beginning, then we have ling. Yearling can be used for a horse uh, that is only a year old. We can also use this for, for people, but it's very common for, for a horse. So a young horse is called yearling. And we also can distinguish a female young horse and a male young horse. So if a young horse is a male one, then you can call it colt. Colt, C-O-L-T. Colt means a male young, which uh, a male young of a horse. A horse, if, uh, if a horse is a male one and it's a young one, then you can call it Colt, but uh, a colt can be uh, can be older than a yearling, of course, and foal as well. Uh, sorry, foal is uh, smaller or younger than a yearling. For example, it's newborn animal, and uh, colt can be, for example, three to four years old, young horse. So colt means a young horse which is male. But if you want to talk about female one, if you want to talk about a young horse which is female, then you can call it filly, F-I-L-L-Y. So filly means a female young horse. I know it was a little bit complicated because we had many words for the uh, horses young, but if you want, I can repeat it for you. If a horse is a young one, a very small one, newborn, it's called foal. As I told you, it's a very common word for most of the animals, for a donkey, as for a mule, for a zebra. It is also used for a horse. A yearling is also a, a horse. It's a young horse, which is about a year old. So from uh, one year old to two years old, horse uh, is called yearling. If, uh, it, uh, if the horse is older than that, and if it's a male one, then you call it colt. But if it's a female one and it's older than a yearling, then you can call it filly. I hope you have understood and there's nothing I, uh, I can talk about in this video. And hope you have learned something from today's video. Uh, again, if you want to learn English and if you want to watch more videos like this, do not uh, forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet and uh, please uh, click the like button and share button uh, Share the videos with your friends uh, People you know they learn English uh, and they study English and If there's anything you want me to talk about if there's anything you want me to teach you write in the comment section and let us know uh, See you in the next video and have a good time Bella